Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of winning Canadian Lotto Max. Now this is a lotto game played in Canada and you have to pick seven numbers from 50 and match all of those seven numbers to win the first prize. So today I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of uh, picking all seven numbers and winning first prize in Canadian Lotto Max. So what I've done here is I've created a template which is just uh, just like the coupon that you'd fill out to uh, select your seven numbers. And I'm going to randomly uh, randomly select seven numbers from 50 just to help you understand um, how these odds are calculated. So I'll just pick uh, randomly pick uh, seven numbers. So what I might uh, take is five, uh, 10, 17, 21, 23, 35, and 42. So they're my randomly selected seven numbers. So what happens there is uh, when you're watching the draw then, and when the first number is drawn, then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got seven chances then. Seven chances in 50, because there's 50 in the uh, 50 numbers to be drawn from. So you've got seven chances in 50 of matching the first number that's drawn. And so what I'll do is I'll just randomly, randomly mark off one of those numbers to indicate that that number has been matched with the first number that's drawn. And now when the second number is drawn, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six chances. Six chances to match the second numbers drawn, but one of the numbers has already been drawn from the barrel, which is a 17. So you're actually left with 50 minus 1, you're left with 49 numbers. So you're left with 49 numbers then for that second number to be drawn from. So you've got six chances in 49 of matching the second number that's drawn. And I'll just randomly mark off one of those numbers to indicate that it's been matched. When the third number's drawn then, you've got one, two, three, four, five chances. Five chances, but now two numbers have already been drawn, so you've got five chances in 48. So there's 48 numbers left to be drawn from. And I'll randomly mark off one of those numbers to indicate that's been matched as well. And when the fourth number's drawn then, you've got one, two, three, four chances. Yep. Four chances in 47, because uh, three numbers have already been drawn. Four chances in 47 of matching the uh, fourth number that's drawn. And I'll just randomly mark off another number. And then when the uh, fifth number's drawn, you've got uh, one, two, three chances then. Three chances in 46. Four numbers have already been drawn, so you've got three chances in 46 of matching the fifth number that's drawn. And then I'll just mark off uh, another number randomly. Uh, when the uh, sixth number is drawn, you've got one, two chances. Two chances in 45 of matching the the uh, the sixth number because uh, five numbers have already been drawn. You've got 45 less left to be um, drawn from. So two chances, uh, so I'll mark off one of those uh, numbers to indicate that you've matched it and when the final number is drawn then this is the exciting part when the uh, final number is drawn then you're left with one chance one chance in 44 of matching that uh, final number that is drawn because there's six numbers have already been drawn from the barrel and so you've got one chance in 44 of matching the final number that's drawn and then all we need to do then to calculate the odds is multiply out the top row and multiply out the bottom row and then simplify the fraction. So it's uh, so we have to do 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is our first calculation. And then 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 is our second calculation. So, the calculator, and then we punch in uh, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is the, that's your top row, so you've got 5,040. 
that up the top and then we just need to multiply out the bottom row which is uh, 50 yep, times 49 times 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 and that equals this astronomical number of uh, what's that? Five hundred and three billion four hundred and seventeen uh, million three hundred and seventy six thousand. Yep. And so we've got five thousand and forty chances in five hundred and three billion. And then all we need to do then is just to simplify that fraction. So we'll, if we divide uh, the Divide that by 5,040, divided by 5,040, which is the same as dividing by 1, and that'll just simplify your fraction. So we'll divide the, the top, divide the top by 5,040, which is 5,040 divided by 5,040 equals 1. Yep. And then we uh, divide the 503 um, billion number, divide that also by 5,040, and we end up with a, a slightly smaller number of 99,884,400. So therefore, then, um, for Lotto Max, then the chances of matching uh, seven numbers out of 50 with just playing one game is one, one chance in 99,884,400. Um, Oops. Now what happens with Lotto Max to make it a little bit more interesting, for every seven numbers that you choose, then you're issued with two extra lines of randomly generated numbers. So for every game you play then, yep, you actually end up with uh, three games. So, so then, so what actually happens then, um, you actually, while you've got, um, you pay for one game and then you've got two free games so that for therefore then your odds really become three you get three chances then for every game that you play you end up with three chances in 99 million eight hundred and eighty four thousand four hundred yep and so if we divide the three by three we end up with one chance and we divide the 99 million by three. We end up with uh, 33 million. 294,000. Uh, 294,800. So, and that's the, uh, and that's the odds that is showing on this uh, this sheet which comes from the Lotto Max website that the if you're matching seven the odds of winning then is one chance in 33 million two hundred ninety four thousand eight hundred okay so therefore then the odds of actually matching seven numbers are out of 50 are one chances in 99 million but because Lotto Max gives you uh, two free games two free games for every game that you play, then in effect you end up with uh, three chances. Then you've got three chances in 99 million of winning for every game that you play, which um, which uh, simplifies down to one chance in 33,294,800. And that agrees then to the um, odds of winning that are published on the Canadian Lotto Max website. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.